Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, um, I'm here. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get things going here. <laughs> Amanda, hi. How are you doing, sweetheart? How have you been? And sorry, my um, voice is kind of at this point a little lost. So, <laughs> got to work through it, I suppose. Uh, how you doing, hon? I am trying to get my channel back up over on my side so I can see what I'm doing with chat. There we go. Doing good, kind of trying to settle for get settled for Christmas. Oh, okay. I imagine so. I can't even think about Christmas right now myself. Um, gosh, I think it's been several years since I've even celebrated Christmas just due to financials and crazy stuff so yep yeah, live on the fly you know me just pop in whenever <laughs> so um I guess I can wait a couple of seconds to see if anybody else is gonna pop in and I don't know that this will be very long with my voice trying to be all crazy <laughs> So, and my truck's burning me out right now. Let me see if I can turn this heater off. Whew. I was going to um, explain, I guess, what a ditty box is. And basically, um, it can be any box. But a ditty box was something that um, whalers used to create when they were on their ships and since I've been doing a scrimshaw series um, and of course you know I did some paper clay in between I got another video I'll be downloading tonight probably uh, to add to the um, the paper clay angel I don't know if you saw that one Amanda but uh, and you know I haven't seen you in a while either but then I've been ignoring my phone social media you know i know you all know or most of you know that my father just passed and i haven't felt real social but um i thought i'd go ahead and try to come on and maybe try to get back into some normalcy and just see you know how things go but uh, i hope you're still working on your channel i have not like i said paid much attention to anything i've just kind of been in and out here and there so um i came on because you know just didn't know really what i was gonna do but i said you know what i was wanting to make one of these little ditty boxes i don't know if people are making these um i, I doubt it because i actually kind of looked up the ditty box and i didn't find anything but some weird stuff so um i guess when people pull up you know the ditty box for my channel they're gonna get this <laughs> So basically what it was is, or what it is, is the whalers when, you know, way back in the, you know, whaling days when I think about 17th century, 18th century, whatever, they would whale. And so therefore you would have these guys um, making their stuff and putting, they would put their needles and their whale's tooth or whatever in these boxes, their personal belongings while they were on the ship. So, I was going to do a modern style and maybe uh, a little stephanized on my ditty box. So, <laughs> it's not going to... I don't know what it's going to be like. I just figured maybe that's what I'd work on today. And if not, well, maybe we'll just chat it up. Don't know. But uh, I do have this old magazine that my mom actually had a hold of in her closet because she used to collect magazines all the time 
And this one is an oldie. Let's see. I think. Um, it looks like it has a number here at the bottom. 225. And uh, looks like something was cut out right there too. Huh. Interesting. But uh, I think this one. Let me see if there's a copyright. You, springtime 1975 so you know it's a pretty cool style of magazine i think she had two or three of them and she let me get a hold of them and i thought they were super cool and what happened was when i was going through this thing i found the art of scrimshaw and it intrigued me because i like nautical things i not i like things that are nautical and what they would do, and I'll just I'll just read it here. It'll make it a lot easier. Um, the Art of Scrimshaw. It says, uh, whaling reached its peak in the first half of the 19th century. Okay, see, I was already off. I was telling you 16th, 17th. <laughs> but it reached its peak in the 19th century uh, when nearly every port from Cape Cod south along the south had whalers out seeking the sea's largest prize. Uh, New Bedford, Massachusetts was the leading port. The size of the harbor combined with landside uh, facilities and rail connections gave rise to a fleet of 300 ships by 1850. 1850. Um, exaggerated tales of profit lured young men from the backcountry farms of New England to sign on voyages lasting from two to four years. In truth, a green hand was fortunate to receive $300 gross pay for the entire trip. And from this deductions were made, um, and what did I say? Why did I lose my spot? And from this deductions were made for clothes, medicine, and tobacco, leaving him with very little money and perhaps a few whale's teeth inscribed with memories of his travels so during the long days it says with little to do a voyage rarely produced more than one whale a month green hand and seasoned sailors alike passed a time daydreaming and reliving the last encounter with a whale their thoughts their thoughts found expression on the polished face of a whale's tooth teeth in the art we have come to know as Scrimshaw. <clears throat> Let me say that again. My voice went out. Scrimshaw. <laughs> and so, hi, Laurel. How are you doing, hon? Hey, brother. How are you? My brother Jerry's here, you guys. <laughs> hey, Shannon. Hey, sis. How you doing? I'm glad you guys come in. My voice is a little bit out. Um... Can't really say why. Call it whatever you want. I'm probably yakking too much or something. <laughs> I'm glad y'all are here. Thanks for popping in. I wasn't sure if I was going to go on, but I figured it was good therapy anyway. So, um, I'm kind of giving you guys a little background about Scrimshaw. I've been working on a series on my channel doing Scrimshaw, and it just has my attention, and I'm loving every minute of it. So, anyways, the... Um, they would take the jawbone and a few other bones uh, where they're prized for the flat surfaces, but the majority of the bones contained a sufficient quantity of oil to make them unsuitable for carving. The scrimshaw process was simple. The, the rough teeth were laboriously smooth and polished with a file, sandpaper, and pumice. On the polished surface was inscribed a scene depicting uh, some memory of home or perhaps the adventure of the latest kill. A pocket knife or a sail needle was used to etch the design deeper into the polished ivory. Original scrimshaw designs are the most interesting, even though the artistic skill varied greatly among, among scrimshanders. A whaler who could not create his own design resorted to copying printed pictures, which I did a video on. Um, if you can't, if you're not a very good artist or you're skeptical, if you can draw on something, 
I, that I actually uh, did this, and I've got another series, uh, another video I will be uh, creating, uh, showing an even easier way to draw on a faux whale's tooth, and we'll get to that another time. But um, that's what they did. They would copy the printed pictures. Um, they would accomplish this by applying a print to the tooth and piercing the outline with a needle, producing a series of dots, which were then connected to form a picture. And again, I did a, um, I did a, um, a little video on how you could do that, but there is an easier way as well. Once the design was etched, it was finished in, by applying a darkening material to the etched lines. Indian ink, India ink was best. And, you know, we like to use India ink these days. But they had it back then. But they also used charcoal and soot. soot you know, like the, the charcoal soot. And sometimes um, rust or copper oxide uh, occasionally were employed to provide a bit of color. Uh, scenic subjects predominant in scrimshaw, although useful objects were fashioned uh, they did pie crimpers and boxes and uh, candles and they did all I mean there's pictures here where you can see the things that they carved out of these whale bones um, it, it is just amazing what they did and uh, they also did uh, yarn swifts even corset stays uh, they all expressed in some way a longing the whaler felt for the loved ones at home. So Scrimshaw is receiving an enthusiastic attention today. Well, this was back in the 70s. So this has kind of been a lost art. Yeah, it is interesting, brother. It really is. And that's why, it, you know, and I love nautical things, so it grabbed my uh, attention. And I just, I love things that are out of the box. And this is a lost art. And uh, I was wanting to reintroduce it. So that's what I started doing on my channel. And so I will probably never be talented like these folks here. Because they really did some interesting carving here. But, um, I mean, wow. But this is some real stuff right here. Uh, this is an elaborate etched tooth. Um, it was probably intended for a mother that it says for or a sweetheart at home. So, I mean, basically what they did. Hey, Deborah. Okay, you can listen. <laughs> I'm glad you popped in. Um, basically what they do is they take their, like I said, the, the little needle, sail needle or a pocket knife. And they would literally etch into the tooth. And they did it with lines. Lines and cross hatches and stippling. All this is done in a very careful uh, process. Now, if I had a real piece of ivory or something like that, I'd probably slow down what I do and, and be a little more meticulous in it as well. But, you know, I'm an I'm a impatient crafter, so I just go for it. <laughs> so I thought it might be interesting to share a little bit about the whalers and why I started my um, a series on, on Scrimshaw and uh, trying to learn to become a bit of a Scrimshander <laughs> because that's what they were called. They're Scrimshanders. So become a Scrimshander. It's a lot of fun. Um, I did mine with paper clay. Uh, let me show you real quick if you haven't seen it. Okay, so this was the first whale's tooth that I did. Yes, I want to show twins. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you want to show twins. Okay. I'm going to say that can do this with voice recognition while I'm driving. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I didn't have a whale's tooth, you guys. Of course, you know, they're they're uh, an endangered species. It's illegal to go whaling. <laughs> 
So basically, I took some air dry paper clay. Hey, Janie, how are you doing, sweetie? Thanks for popping in. Um, and I etched this fish, which you may have seen on other works of art that I've done. I did this fish originally for my dad because um, he loved to go fishing. So I just kind of recreated it here. I took a piece of paper clay. I uh, overlaid it with some uh, polymer clay that I worked out the color to give it a a bone uh, ivory feeling uh, look to it. So I definitely uh, played with that. So there is a video on this if you want to watch it. Uh, and then, of course, I glazed it so that it would give it the shiny. And I just love that it did that. It was so cool. And then I came back because I did get a comment. I think it was Kateri had said she loved it, but, you know, she couldn't even draw a stick figure. But <laughs> so I said, well, you know what? We can fix that. So here is the second whale's tooth that I did. Now, this one I made a little bigger. Um, and, and okay, there's, okay, there's a disclaimer here. <laughs> this wouldn't normally happen. What I did, and I explained it in the video, is that, I didn't allow the clay, the paper clay underneath to dry. I was impatient and I threw my paper clay over it and then I baked it and it cracked. And uh, so this thing is actually all cracked up, but a friend of mine told me keep it anyway, so I will probably glue this together. <laughs> she didn't want me to trash it. Uh, this one is a, um, oh, a, a compass. And basically, on this video that I did, I took an actual picture of a compass, and I, I uh, did a, um, a tracing paper and drew it over the tracing paper. And then I laid the tracing paper over this faux whale tooth, and then I did the dot-to-dot -dot thing, just like we read. And then once that was over, I pulled away the paper and... I basically came back and did a dot to dot scrimshaw on it and then inked it and polished it and then it you know broke even more so yeah <laughs> that was it but it was really cool and it was a lot of fun and I've got I've got some other um, I got one other technique that if you know to draw with on here if you can't draw uh, I've got one other technique I will be showing I won't be doing it tonight um, but I want to show you guys this too. Hold on one second. I had some extra, um, polymer clay that was already, uh, this color. And I said, well, you know what? I want to use what I have. So what I did is I carved these little pieces out. They're kind of raw, so they look kind of organic, which I think is really cool. And I basically inlaid um, these metal pieces. They're Swarovski crystal findings that I received from Nancy from Always Adorn Nancy. She has a D-Stash channel on YouTube. Uh, Nancy Light. Uh, she gave me some of these, and I had some leftover polymer clay, and I thought, well, you know what? That, that looks kind of like my faux bone or faux, you know, marine bone or whatever. So instead of wasting it and not having enough to do something small, I chose to make jewelry out of them. So, hi, Mom. My stepmom's here. Um, Debbie is my stepmom. Um, glad to have you here. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> she likes to, to come in once in a while, and I'm glad you guys are here. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, this is my dad's wife. Um, so, anyway, this is this is Sarosky crystal. All of the this is the metal finding, and then I had some flat back uh, Sarosky crystals as well. And I did a little bit of scrimming in here. I don't know if that's going to. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Yeah. I did a little leaf scrimming in here. So it's kind of like faux scrimshaw too. <laughs> so while the clay was wet, I actually carved these little leaves. And uh, then I used some um, India ink and 
embedded the color into it, and then I baked it. So I cheated a little bit. <laughs> so faux scrimming, <laughs> faux scrimshaw, and uh, jewelry making. Uh, this one is more like a cabochon for a wire wrap. I can drill a hole in here. Uh, I might do that. I don't know. But I thought they were cool. I thought they were fun. And it was, you know, it kept me from wasting. I don't like to waste. Um, other than that, it was really hard to condition my clay since I no longer have a pasta machine because the thieves took it. So I've been working on these for a little bit. This is more uh, ivory bone well tooth polymer clay that's in process of being conditioned but it takes me so much longer without my pasta machine so that's why i haven't done another one <laughs> but i will be i will be so the ditty box let's get back to the ditty box i have another little box here and you can store little things i mean right now this i just picked this one up the stamp it says jesus loves you uh, a little piece of chain mail and I just picked up the stays on because I'll be using uh, some of this uh, soon so that's what a ditty box is it's just a little trinket box you, you know that's what we call it today is a trinket box well in the whalers days they called it a ditty box and I just want to decorate mine because this one has I went ahead and put I picked up a couple of new tools I know, darn thieves. I know, right, Jerry? <laughs> Hi, Nancy. I was just talking about you. You must, your ears must have been burning. <laughs> your ears were burning. <laughs> did you see what I did with your, your metal findings that you gave me? Doesn't that look great? These are those um, Swarovski findings. I put them in my faux bone. <laughs> And I'd scrimshawed that one and, and just made a cabochon with this other one. So, um, this is actually a quilling tool. And I know Laurel knows all about the quilling tool because she is a great quiller. And if you've never seen her work, check it out. By the way, Laurel has a channel, purple, uh, purple, I, Laurel, good Lord, I know your stuff. <laughs> but I'm thinking of purple cottage crafts now. I've got Abby in my brain. <laughs> purple creations, forever purple creations. That's who, that's who Laurel is. She also has a, uh, a Facebook channel and group as well. So, But she's an excellent quiller. And this is actually a quilling tool. And I just picked this up at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I'm going to be checking it out to see how well it will scrim. I don't know how well it will scrim. <laughs> You're welcome, Laurel. But it, we're going to try to scrim that. Shannon has a channel, by the way, as well. Uh, Shannon Naylor has a channel. Nancy has a channel. Um, if you ladies don't know each other, I don't know if I'm missing anyone that has a Chroma Arts has a channel. Uh, that's Amanda. She does uh, acrylic pours. She does amazing work. So, all these ladies are so talented. Uh, I also picked up this. This is so cool. Um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby as well. Yeah, because I only made one trip. <laughs> um, this is for this is from the Paper Studio, and this is a very very tiny. Hi, Julia. Looks like a toothpick. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it could be. There's my hillbilly brother thinking of a toothpick. <laughs> right? <laughs> yes, I called you out. <laughs> okay, your husband's... Shannon says her husband's videos does better than hers. <laughs> but she's an excellent artist anyway, so check her out. Um, this is a new tool I'm going to try as well. Uh, can you see that? It's like a baby uh, exacto. But it's by the Paper Studio. I think I got... I don't remember which part of the... Uh, I can't remember which aisle I found this on. But I was searching particularly for something sharp. Besides my needles that I'm using for my scrimshaw. And why are my needles not in here? I thought I put them in here. It also comes with two extra blades. You think this blade spins? 
Oh, don't, I hope not. <laughs> don't know. Let me see. Does this blade spin? It, L'Oreal, it spins. <laughs> Why does it spin? No, I don't want it to spin. I don't want it to spin. Why does it spin, L'Oreal? It, it almost seems broken. I don't like that. Why don't, oh, okay. Okay, so that's not going to work. Well, drat the luck. I was all happy. I'm so disappointed now. It's for, like, fussy cutting? Well, I'm going to fussy because it's it's not going to cut way I want it to cut. <laughs> Darn right it's for fussy. It's for fussing. <laughs> Hi, Diane. There's Diane with Victorian Shabby Shop. Merry Christmas. Must run company. Must run. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, thanks for popping in. I appreciate you being here for a minute, Di. Which one, Laurel? You need to know where I got the new one. I got it at Hobby Lobby. I got this. I got both of these at Hobby Lobby just like two days ago. I told David I was going shopping, and that was it. I needed some therapy. <laughs> I needed some therapy. Um, here's what I've been using. It's just this. It's a doll needle, uh, and I guess all my needles fell out because I didn't have them in my little ditty box. I didn't have my ditty box yet. This is what I've been looking. And I can't remember which section I got that in, Laurel. I'm so sorry. I do not remember which section. Oh, Bye, Diane. Merry Christmas. And thanks so much for popping in. Um, so I used this doll needle, which has worked out really great for me. I may have to build a polymer clay handle or something just so that I have something better to hold on to so that it doesn't hurt your fingers so that's what I've been using and you can also use like an awl or something like that your last live I got there and it buffered a bit and you then you said you were done oh I'm sorry <laughs> I I thought I said that I was uh was that this time Julia I don't know what I'm saying. I apologize. I'm half here in my brain. Here is uh, an example I think that I showed on my video. Here's the uh, compass that I used. Uh, I found this somewhere in my, in my mail. And it was on an envelope of some sort. I don't know. And I cut it out. <laughs> and I didn't even know I was going to have that. So that's what I used on this Wells tooth. And uh, that's, I just used a piece of tracing paper and traced it out. And then I did a dot to dot. That's what I was explaining. So I found some of my little scraps. And then, of course, you'll have to go watch the video to see the whole process with that. But uh, it's a lot of fun. I've really, it's been uh, therapeutic for me anyway. So it, it, it is fun. Hi, Sue. Thanks for popping in. Appreciate you being here. It is cool. And uh, to get the ink off, I just used like this little nail buffer and, and did a little buffing to get the excess, what wouldn't come off the polymer clay. Uh, I used this to buff it off. It was really simple. Um, I even tried it on some dominoes. I picked up these dominoes. Let me show you. And this was the first things that I tried them on. Um, but I'm going to work with them again. But this was also new. They didn't really um, engrave too well. And that was kind of my problem with it. But I took a, uh, a cheating way. And I used this little etching tool. And got some of this in there. And this thing kind of petered out on me it didn't it wasn't strong enough for it I actually got out my Dremel and was able to get a thicker scrim on there so that was pretty cool so that's kind of what where all this started and where it's, I plan to take it at least for a little while and then I also have 
one other new way to maybe scrim. And we might be doing that today. That we might be doing. I don't know. Depends on how late it gets. Um, but I thought to decorate my box, these, <laughs> I love these bubbles. Um, again, I think I got these again at Hobby Lobby. I know I did. And they were in the little, uh, the little shop where the spare parts are. And so I just got some nautical stuff to go with my Diddy box. I have some sand and blue rocks, but that's at home, which I'll probably include another time or another box, so um, I don't think I have it with me, but I don't remember what this netting came from, but I'll probably be using some of this netting as well. Oh, okay, Shannon. Thanks for popping in the heart. Enjoy the grand babe. Investing a hand electric Dremel may work better if you want. Oh, I do have a Dremel. Uh, they didn't get that in the theft. They, they actually missed that, Laurel. <laughs> and it did work so much better. So, anyways, I picked up some of these for... For... Uh, scrim showing and I meant for my ditty box. Yeah, I'm, my head's all over the place. I didn't know that swiveled. That kind of breaks my heart. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Well, I guess I'll be learning to do some fussy cutting anyway. <laughs> Drats. But this, I think, is going to be pretty cool, too. It might be uh, good, like my needle here. It might be, looks like it's got a thinner tip, so it'll be great for stippling. Yes, we love you, Shannon. Be safe. And I hope you're feeling better, too, if you're still there. So, well, I don't need this in, in here. So, I'm going to empty this box out. And I was considering either doing this in a, a more freely way. Or I was thinking about going ahead and inking the, or uh, staining this up to look... Uh, a little more old and that's what I'm thinking I want to do um, I do have somewhere did I grab it did I pull it down y'all gotta forgive me I pulled out so much stuff now I can't find anything oh I had some staining pens uh, that I had bought from Walmart at one point, but I don't know if where those got, got to, if they were stolen or not. So, at the Dollar Tree, I picked these up, and I thought that was cool for a dollar, so I don't know how good they'll be, but they're supposed to be uh, they're furniture scratch markers. I figured I'd just try one. And... Uh, Maybe I should start with a lighter color first to see if I'm going to like it. And if not, I'll just paint it. <laughs> but I got these. This one had six different colors between the two packages. So, it's not bad for a dollar. I just hope they don't. They work better in a dollar. <laughs> we'll see. Well, this is an oak color. I just want to kind of get an idea. And it might take a while, too. That's a pretty good color. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll make another Diddy box and do it a more shabby chic. A lot of the ladies like to do the shabby chic. I'm not so shabby chic, but it would be a nice little challenge for myself. So a shabby chic Diddy box. Cool. I like the idea of it. But I think it would be more fun to have this look old. And maybe age this a little bit. Oh, your twins are your grandchildren, Deborah. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering. So I wonder if I could darken light this part of it. This is a uh, cherry. I don't know if I should mix the woods. And you could probably use shoe polish or something like that, too. Um, if they don't have these at your Dollar Tree, 
you could probably get a shoe polish and have the same effects. I just know for me, I kind of wanted the wood look. I don't know. I kind of like that. Kateri's here. Hi, Kateri. Thanks for popping in, sweetheart. I appreciate you being here. We're creating a Whaler's Diddy Box. And this is going to be my Diddy Box. And the Diddy Box is what the guys would make to hold their belongings. Their, their scrimshaw needles, their inks, or any other belongings that they had. Hi, Leafa. How you doing, sweetheart? Thanks for popping in. I'm happy to have all you ladies here. It's been a while. I didn't really know that I was going to go on. And my brother, which is in the chat, asked me since I was down if I was going to go on. I said, you know, I thought about it, but I wasn't sure. He says, well, I think you should. And, you know, okay, I guess so. And uh, it was a, it's, it's kind of good therapy, I think. And I'm going to tell you what, these dollar, they're doing great. Look at that, y'all. I got these for a dollar at Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, and they had six different ones. I'm loving this. This is so cool. And it's cheap. Right up my proverbial alley. So, we're going to age this. Now, listen, all of my stamps and alcohol inks and my um, Tim Holtz uh, distress inks, all that was taken. So, when you don't, I, and I just, I can't go and buy them again right now. Um, I'll buy a little at a time to get those things back. But sometimes that's okay, too, because... You learn to craft the way, you know, without. And you, you create it when you don't have everything. You know, I think that's cool, too. And I probably could have made my own wood box with popsicle sticks. Because I've done that before. I've made a popsicle stick box. And it was a little box that I made for my sister. For her birthday last year, I think it was. Yeah, I think it was last year's birthday. And um, I made a little wood box for her out of popsicle sticks. And it was really cute. And it was rustic. And I enjoyed making it. And it was a little jewelry trinket box that I made for her. So you can make boxes too. But I just wanted to decorate one. <laughs> I didn't want to make one this time. <laughs> Yeah, it is, Mom. It is really nice. Julia says, when I, do a, when I do a live, how do I look at the chat with people who come to watch? Would you be able to explain it to me? Or is the place... Okay, well, um, if, if you, you do a live, Julia, let me just show you my other phone here. Uh, this is my chat. Um, you have to go all the way to the bottom. Well, see, now that's not true in my case on this one. Okay, there's the box that says live chat. I'm reading it off my other phone, and that's how I'm seeing my chat. I don't have the laptop or the computer, so I'm not real sure how it works for the ladies that have that. Um, you might want to ask one of the ladies here in chat because uh, I'm a little bit uh, not schooled in that department. <laughs> so um, that's, Julie, that's on my phone. I just use it on, and, and my phone actually pops it up itself right here. The one I'm recording on, it actually lets me see the chat if I implement the little chat box all i do is push my screen 
the screen I'm recording on and it has a little chat box and I can hit that and read the chat where I'm recording but I'm using my other phone to watch the chat instead so I don't even know if I'm lagging <laughs> I should be watching it I guess so I'm doing this one in the darker color this is the cherry And I guess just one more little section here. I need some music. If I was recording on my other phone, I might could be playing music off this phone. <laughs> there we go. Try not to take too long, but it takes a minute. This little pen work, this marker works fantastic. I love it. And and by the way, I got this from um, right here, the wood pile. <clears throat> it's a 6.1 by 4 and a half by 3 and a quarter box. I got it from Hobby Lobby. It was only $3.99. So it's a great buy. It's a cute box. I was thinking of putting um, something right here. I, I don't think I'll do a mirror in here. Um, but I've got some other ideas and I don't want to say it yet. So we'll just have to get to it. And if we don't finish it on this live, I'll finish it in a video. So I just wanted to come on and say hello. Let people know I'm still around. I, I haven't been very um, social hadn't felt like being very social so I'm trying to get out of out of that I guess mentality for a minute but it's not easy I'm sure you guys know if you've lost a parent how it feels and anyway this is just good therapy I think So, maybe I should go long strokes. But I think this is going to be super cool. And, you know, I'm thinking that I'll probably do a glaze finish on here, too. Give it a shininess. Not, I know it, it could be rustic and all that, but it's a little bit of a rough wood. I didn't sand it. I didn't take the time to sand it. So I'm probably going to throw a uh, either a triple thick or a um, Mod Podge glaze over it in the end. We'll see. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. That's so super cool. You only have two phones. Yeah, that's what I have, Julia. Is two phones. Yeah, these are cool, Chroma. Amanda, I don't know what you prefer. <laughs> Chroma is Amanda, you guys. So if you hear me say Chroma, her name is Amanda. And Chroma Art, she does the acrylic pours. They're awesome. Check them out. Are you still doing that? This takes a minute. This one seems to be a little drier than the last one. <sighs> Have y'all ever heard of a ditty box? Yes, I just haven't posted in a while. Yes, I understand life. Hey, Kateri, welcome back, sweetheart. You know, I'm used to making my videos because I can edit and I'm in my own realm and 
I'm not used to talking and creating at the same time because my mind just kind of goes everywhere. And especially right now, there's like no, <laughs> there's no, there's no sense to me right now. I, it's almost a chore to think anymore right now. So I'm kind of not liking the discoloration I'm getting but from my strokes. But at the same time, I feel like it gives it a little primitive character. Okay. I'm in my truck, Kateri. Thanks, Jerry. Glad you're still here, babe. And again, my brother is Jerry. For those of you that just popped in. I'm in my truck, Kateri. I'm stuck in Ohio, woo -woo, and I am... I actually, it was really crazy. I, I had to come to Ohio uh, on top of the other two to three loads I'd had previous, and I ran out of hours at, the, at my customer, and I only had one hour left and uh, for my full 70-hour clock, and I know y'all don't really understand that in trucker talk. Janie understands. <laughs> Janie knows. And so I got stuck out here in Perrysburg, Ohio, and... Um, I'm in a Walmart parking lot. <laughs> so, if anybody knows Perrysburg, Ohio, that's where I'm at. <laughs> Come craft with me. <laughs> and I won't be here for long. Uh, I'll be out of here soon. My clock will be up and I'll be back on the road. I'm probably going to get in trouble from David because he hates when I say where I'm at. Oops, I forgot, honey. My bad. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh, no. The noise is like scratching chalkboard. Er, my bad. <laughs> okay. Um can't help that. <laughs> uh, plug your ears, brother. <laughs> he says it's like he says it's like a chalkboard. Oh my lord! <laughs> no, they're very. It's a it's a very light odor. They do have a, a faint odor, but they're not heavy at all. Of course, I'm not real sensitive to that, but I. Yeah, I don't, I'm not going to sit here and sniff it, but <laughs> I, you really don't know what I'll end up saying if I start sniffing the markers close up, but <laughs> thanks, Mom. <laughs> she said she likes the different colors, and, and I'm killing my brother's ears. He's probably got his headphones in listening to the scratching chalkboard, but no, they don't have a, a heavy odor, believe it or not. I would say that they're probably lighter in the odor than the marker pens that I got from Walmart. To my recollection, anyway. It's been a while since I've touched those, and I don't know where they are. I don't know if I have them in my possession, whether it be... I don't think I have them anymore. I think they were stolen. They took all of my... That's, they took all of my beads and beading stuff... And my, my machines, like, I waited two years to get my die cut machine. I've got me a brand new Sizzix. I got it with a coupon for $75. I used it one time and they got it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? That's just my luck. And so, um, they got my big stuff like that. They got all of my beading stuff. And bless her heart, Nancy went and sent me these huge boxes filled with precious, semi-precious stones. And I have yet to still finish going through those. But I did snag a couple of pieces and put them in the faux bone. So that was fun. Um, I started wire wrapping one piece the other night. And it's been so long since I wire wrapped. I just kind of put it to the side. I wasn't happy with it. So I got to start over on that. 
I think that's pretty cool. And you put a, a nice finish on that. That'd be great. All right. Um, hmm. Let me see if I can... This is like watching paint dry, isn't it? I'm so sorry. Gail! My gelato is here. <laughs> Mom called you a big sissy. <laughs> I'm glad that you... It's relaxing. Well, my brother says it's like... A chalkboard, Amanda. <laughs> well, they do have a little bit of an odor, but it's to me, it's not overbearing. Maybe I'll just do it in long, light strokes so it's not so heavy on the ears. I'm trying. So, did you guys go shopping for Black Friday? Did y'all do all that crazy stuff? I don't do Black Friday. I'm crazy enough. I don't need that stuff. I don't like the way I'm streaking that out. So now I'm going to have to blend that because I done messed up. There. Did you see how I was making it like that? You got to blend that out so that it's not so noticeable now. That's how we do that. Sorry, Jerry. I heard the squeak. But it is relaxing. It is relaxing. Give him some earplugs and he'll be cool so he can watch it without the noise. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one that says that, brother. We're just a bunch of mean women telling you to get some earplugs. You know I love your mama. It's almost over. It's almost over for now. And you know what? And this is what really gets to me, too. I really wish right now I had my wood-burning tool. Because they got that, too. Because I could see me doing some wood-burning in this right now. That would be cool. I mean, I am at a Walmart. <laughs> I could go, go get one if they have one here. They usually do, but... I've already spent money, so I can't do it again. But isn't that looking cool? Julia says, cool pin, though, love the color. Uh, these were Dollar Tree uh, markers, Gail. I got them for, they come in a pack of three at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This one had the darker tones, and this package had the lighter tones. And right now, I'm using oak. And I use cherry on the trim. And Julia says, My husband actually took me and went into Fred Meyers and Walmart. Then he took me to Michael's. The next day, they still had Black Friday sales. That's crazy. <laughs> Who are you messing with? Oh, me? It does. What, what happened, Janie? Why did you retract your message? Oh, and we're good at it, too, Gail. We are always messing with each other. You better believe that. I mean, we grew up 
fighting and hating each other, but we sure never stopped loving each other. Well, I wouldn't say we hated each other, but we were mean. We were mean, weren't we, brother? <laughs> All right, so I guess I got to keep the same color going. I'm going to get this done and then be stuck like what next? I'm going to feel like Laurel. <laughs> Laurel's always getting stuck. <laughs> Aren't you, Laurel? <laughs> yeah, I'm used to doing time lapses on this kind of stuff because it's so time consuming. And it's like watching paint dry. And <laughs> I usually spare my audience the time that it takes to do something like this through through uh, time lapse don't y'all love time lapse I love time lapse but this is the joy of a live so when you're live you get what you get take it you gotta take it <laughs> or you can leave <laughs> guess you don't got to do nothing, do you? My feet are getting cold, so I've turned my heater back on. Hmm. All right. Yep, probably so. Gail says she doesn't mess with her sister much. Her daughter does a better job. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get along, did we? Gosh, it's amazing. I, I wouldn't know what to do without my brother. I'm going to tell you. Uh, I love him to death. I love him more than words could tell. I love my whole family that way. And uh, though we did fight and viciously fought as kids, teenagers, and even young adults. <laughs> Uh, we never, never lost the love. And I think that's so important that in a family, you never lose the love. No matter how hard it gets, time is short, and you never know. You never know. Some circumstances, I understand, are quite different um, to each their own. But I urge forgiveness, and I urge love always, 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 always. what the Lord wants you to do. What would Jesus do? Forgiveness and love. Alright. By the way, speaking of Jesus, I have not announced it yet publicly, but I am starting a new channel. Um, it's one that I'll either be recording or go live at some point. Um, and it's definitely going to be a, it's called Let's Talk. It's called Let's Talk. And it's going to be just that. Let's talk. Let's talk about what's going on in today's day, what's going on around us. Uh, it'll be biblical, spiritual. It'll be um, devotional. It'll be um, we'll read books. We'll uh, read We'll, we'll, we'll color, we'll do some minor crafting, um, but that is the new channel. Um, it's, it's kind of been an overwhelming um, kind of have to do. I feel like I'm being called to do it. I'm no preacher or minister or anything to that nature, but in my, my spirit, my heart is telling me that this is something that I need to do. So I'm going to do it. And I hope that you'll join me. There is, uh, there will be a link. I think um, once I post this, I will go back and put the link of all my channels, of course, in here, in the description box. I don't know how to do it previous before my show, but um, it's called Let's Talk. And um, I mean, we'll color, we'll do puzzles, we'll do all kinds of stuff. 
and I think it'll be fun. I mean, it's going to go into dreams and visions, and uh, there may be times where uh, I use my other phone and have a guest conference uh, or let people call in and tell their stories or their dreams or their visions or things to that nature. There's a lot of us out there that don't talk about it, and uh, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. It is what it is. And if people don't like it, they certainly don't have to be there. Um, but, of course, hate won't be tolerated. But if you want to join me, I do have an introduction video on it. And I did have one other video where I was woke up in the middle of the night. And uh, the Lord told me I needed to give a message. So that's what I did. So... I'm just saying. I zoned out. Hi, River. I see that River popped in. I think. Yeah. Hey, girl. How you doing, sweetie? No, no, no. I don't. I don't want money, Deborah. I'm good. I don't want money. I don't want money. I'm. I'm. Do please. I don't. I really, honestly, I don't want it. I'm good, thank you, thank you, but I'm good. Um, no, I'm I'm not telling y'all that for that. Honest to God, that I don't want it. I I'm I'm got a new job. I'm getting back on track. Um, the Lord's given me uh, a great, great job, and He's getting me back where I need to be. And I'll get my stuff. I'll get my stuff. Don't y'all worry about it. That is, I'm just sharing my journey. That's all that is. I am not, I do not want anything. And y'all better not send it to me because it won't make me feel good. I'm good. I promise. Thank you. I'm grateful, but thank you. Thank you. No, thank you. Okay? Thank you. All right. Uh, now, if we're doing friendships or friend mail and that's a normal thing, I get it. That's cool. I'm not saying I don't. I wouldn't accept your gifts as friends by all means that's that's a different story but that's not what I was telling you guys for so please 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 don't do that um, your hearing is <laughs> let me catch up secret Santa okay Gail I hear you uh, no I don't want to remove anybody well, I'm glad you're doing good, River. Gil doing good, Miss Hillary Carbon. Judy! How you doing, Judy? Oh, guys, I want y'all to know that text Judy that's in the chat right now. Say hi to everybody, Judy. Text Judy uh, lives in a couple of towns over from me. And... Uh, she actually showed up at my dad's service and oh my gosh it was such a treat I was kind of zoned out and uh, I just I, she come up to me she says you don't have a clue who I am do you and I'm like no I don't <laughs> and she says well I'm Judy Carpenter text Judy I'm like oh my gosh and bless her heart she stopped in and shared time with my family at my dad's service and she and I have yet to talk but you know she told me that uh, she loved the service that the service was healing and she would share something with me which I'm looking forward to doing we haven't done that um, but Judy uh, again thank you so 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 much for for stopping in that just it was so warming to have you there it was so warming. Oh, thank you. It it really it really was an incredible thing to have someone you don't know but you know through through cyberspace here to come share such an important and special moment with you. And um, man, I do plan to share uh, the video. Uh, of my dad's service of him 
uh, honoring him. I sure wish that I would have had someone record the actual service itself, but it, there was no time for that. And so, uh, we had two services to tend to. So the poem, <laughs> yes, um, there was a poem that was read by my mom, my stepmom, Debbie, Deborah Pettis. She's here in the chat as well. And I'll tell you, she did an, an, an incredible job uh, reading that poem because that poem, listen, let me just tell you a quick story. I won't make it long. We're at the funeral parlor and the lady asked us, well, what, what would you like to say about your dad? And it was like, um, <laughs> on the spot, I felt guilty. I had, I had no idea what to say, but long story short, um, I didn't I still didn't know so I wrote this poem for the service and the Lord showed me the way to do it because I didn't know how to put my dad into words and she did an amazing job reading it and I will end up sharing that down the road but right now it's just my brother says back to business so I guess we're gonna get back to business yes sir right away sir <laughs> touchy subject you guys I hope you understand anyways Judy thank you very much you had the pleasure of meeting her Jerry Wow, that's awesome. I will I will get them out, Judy. Well, you can ask her. Deborah, Deborah Pettis is in here. Debbie, uh, Deborah Cripps would like to know how you're doing. And I guess, you know, quickly, I guess I can say she's, I just saw her two days ago. I got to swing through and we had lunch and she's doing as best as can be expected. What well, meant a lot to us too, Judy. Thank you so much. It was a blessing. And and Judy's so beautiful for, for doing that. So my brother says back to business, so the, the boss spoke. Alright. Um I, I picked up these two. This is actually an, um, oh, what do you call those? It's a lace mold, and it's of the, um, it's the, the mermaid scales, you guys. It's mermaid scales. And I, I had to have it for my ditty box. I thought it would be cool to put somewhere on my ditty box. <laughs> as a texture or something so I think that I will get a piece of paper clay we do have a close family oh good night Laurel thanks for stopping in sweetie appreciate you being here Oh crap, I just dropped some clay. <laughs> Good night, Laurel. Be safe. Yes, four o'clock does come early. What what Janie, what did you do? And you better not have done it. Can you use the lace mold as a stamp? Yes, you can. Yes, you can, and um, you absolutely can, Amanda. She wanted to know if you could use the lace mold as a stamp. Uh, you, you can, actually. But I wanted it textured and three-dimensional, so I'm going to just do like a little piece or portion of clay and this is paper clay you guys I got this at Walmart it's like 697 it's air dry modeling clay it will need time to dry but it doesn't take that long overnight usually works or if you have a, a heat tool which I do but I don't have it out this very second I'm gonna make this rather thin and I just want I just want a couple of little texture pieces to go on here now, let me see if I can roll this off. Can y'all see that in my view? Let me get that box out of the way. There. Is that better?
No, I have not checked it, Janie. Uh, wow. All right, I'm going to kick you in the butt. Thank you, sweetheart. You didn't really need to do that. And, and I'm telling you, I love my new job. Uh, they have done me great service. See, the job I was working for, uh, literally we hauled peanuts. And I would make jokes saying I work for peanuts. Well, since I've been here, it's the truth. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's definitely the truth. I have worked for peanuts for real compared to what I'm, I'm doing right now. But look. Look at those mermaid scales, y'all. Is that not cool? I just want to place those on this box here and there. And I will glue that on. So even though it's wet, I'm going to put some glue. And, and I'll put that on there. I don't know when or where just yet. But I want to make a couple of these. That's right. Janie, she, she is a sweetheart. I'm telling y'all. She, Her and Shannon both, um, they sent me uh, plants. Uh, they sent me a plant together, and it was a beautiful plant. And it had a little angel with it as well. And I got those when I got home. They were waiting for me when I got home. And uh, her and Shannon Naylor did that for me, and it was just so sweet. And, um, I, I mean, just y'all are all good hearted people and I, and I appreciate you guys being my friends and being here with me. I really, really do. Let's see here. I'll probably trim some of that off cause I want it to look raw. I don't care if it looks torn. I think torn looks more organic, almost like a, almost like a tattered, almost like tattered paper. So it's tattered clay, haha. -ha. So we will use these scales somewhere on there. You love it so far? <laughs> My brother says he loves you. Are you leaving, Jerry? He says he's going to Lily Queen because he's wanting a lizard. <laughs> well, bring me one. I want one. Come to Ohio and bring me a lizard. <laughs> yeah, Gail's a trip. She's from England, Jerry. She's my Londoner. Uh-oh. Oh, let's see. <laughs> Love you, babe. Be careful, okay? Thanks for popping in. Oh, you're on your way? <laughs> Quit texting and driving, you bad boy. Ooh, I got an idea. While this clay is wet, I can paint it, okay? I can. But I'm going to try something. A brush not those I don't want those brushes I'll get one of my cheapier brushes out oh uh, let's see here actually I wished I had my little makeup brush but this will do have y'all ever used the Pearl X uh, mica powders they're a little bit pricey but they are so awesome. And I think that I'm going to treat this like polymer clay if possible. And do some pearl, pearl powder on these. Let's see. Hmm. I'll do a couple of different colors of blue. Some green. Oh, let's see. We'll start with that. Oh, 
I'm so glad my brother stopped in. Rose! Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? Glad to have you here, sweetie. You have some? <laughs> Amanda has some. Jerry, Mom said goodnight, son. And Mom, glad you're here with me, too, because I hope this helps keep keep uh, keep your mind off things for a little bit, too. It's good therapy. And you're hanging out with me. Oh, cool. Good deal, Amanda. I'll be watching that video. Let's start with some... I'm going to start... Oops. This is just antique silver. Um, don't know where I'm going to go with this yet. So let's do some antique silver. I don't know if I can zoom in on this. Let's try. Ha. I can. There we go. Can y'all see that better now? So we're just taking some mica powder and listen you can use the mica powders or eyeshadow that's a real fine eyeshadow you can use those LA colors um, mica powders that you get from Dollar Tree they work the same way honestly you can get a lot from Dollar Tree I'm just saying I got those markers those wood markers from Dollar Tree I love that. That's fun. What did I miss, River? Yes, what? Yeah, I had a uh, Merry Christmas, Rose, and uh, Happy New Year's for sure coming. Um, I have been a bit out of the social ring, and I do apologize, but I think most of you know that we've as a family been dealing with my, the passing of my father so this is just me trying to get out and have some therapy here let my friends know I'm still here and I'm still with you guys I'm trying to come out of my my shell a little bit so this is working out pretty great um, I usually do something like this with polymer clay but as you can see, the paper clay is taking it just fine. Now, I don't know before this dries. I don't want this to dry before I can get it all on there. But paper clay takes a minute to dry, but it does start to harden. So, get too dry too. And so, you might want to get a baby wipe or something. Let me do that and keep it moist while we're doing this. Let me get a baby wipe so that I can keep this paper clay moist while I am putting on micro, mica powder. I love this blue too. Is Shannon still here or did we lose her? I haven't seen her in a while. She's been a little bit under the weather herself. I want to keep that a little moist. I want to do another color blue. This is this one here was blue vertible. Wait, 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 wait. True blue. It was in a different language. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie don't do other languages unless it's my own. <laughs> and this one here is turquoise. So let's throw a little turquoise on. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. That turquoise is gorgeous. Yes, Gail, y'all have been great friends. Thank you, sweetheart. 
River says, I can see what you're doing. I type slow. Girl, don't feel bad when I'm on lives. I'm slow to type too. Because I'm on my phone and it likes to be fuddy-duddy with me. Oh, please, life happens, Steph. We are all in this together. No need for apologies. Well, bless your heart, Rose. Thank you, sweetie. And Rose, uh, Rose, if you don't know, which most of you in here probably do, but Rose uh, sells kits. Uh, also, a.k.a. Rosie Posey. So, Rose Alica, Rosie Posey. She does kits, and you can find her on several different lives. Uh, the main one, I believe, is Laurel's channel, and I think she might have started her own. I can't verify that unless she tells me different. And then there's also, I think, um, I don't know. I don't know who all you go on. I know M Maddie's. I know you've been going on Maddie's and Kateri's, right? I'm going to do a little green. This is spring green. Rose's kids kit kits rock. Yes, they do. I say I can't talk. You're drooling. <laughs> it is stunning, isn't it? Isn't it, Judy? I love that blue, that turquoise. And of course, we got to throw some uh, flamingo pink in there. Let's do some flamingo pink to make it colorful, brighten it up. Just a little hint of flamingo pink. Might have been a little much. But that's okay. That's okay. I like that. Thank you, Kateri. Oceanside. That's right, Mama. <laughs> I'm loving that. Okay, so we'll set this little piece here to dry. And we'll go ahead and do this one too. Now see, it's already got a crust on it. So I'm going to moisten this up a little bit. It dries pretty quick, you guys. Especially when it's thin like that. So... I guess I need to move, move faster, move faster. See, now I'm not talking, it got too quiet. I'm all alone, no one besides me. David says, honey, honey, honey. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I don't do that. <laughs> I was doing donkey. Angela, is that chronic? Chronic's here? Hi, sweetie. How are you? I've missed you. It's good to see you. I hope things are going well with your mama. Is your mama doing okay? We're working with Pearlex powders. Aw. Well, we need to talk soon. I haven't talked to you in quite some time. And I've been trying to get back in the social groove just a little bit. And uh, we'll get there. We'll get there. I've got a lot of catching up to do with my friends. Alright, 
all right that'll do it i think that's good we'll let that dry isn't that pretty that is so cool do y'all like that i'm loving it <laughs> what's up pony <laughs> i'm glad to have you guys here thank you thank y'all so much for being here I picked me up a new table so I've got more space to spread all my stuff. Steph's got stuff to spread. <laughs> that sounds bad. My bad. <laughs> it's a good thing though. I got me a lamp too. And um, the cool thing is, is I've had this uh, this vice grip press when I had when I was making my wire wrapping jewelry bracelets, and it's been in my closet at home for like forever. And I dug it out last time I was home and I brought it with me and it works great for uh, holding my camera. So awesome, blossom, awesome, blossom. Man, I really hate wasting those powders right there. But, you know, it is what it is. Gotta go. Move forward. Okay. It's so blinky. So, yeah, I'm on a 34 reset, Angela, and I'm stuck in the truck, so I'm having fun. I decided to have some fun with my friends. And my family. My family's here, too. Some of them. A couple of them. Well, my brother was here. You missed my brother. So, let me get this zoomed back out. Okay, that'll work. Yep, you get to play. Uh, Julia, it is called Let's Talk. And it will be in the link when this video is done and loaded. I will go back and put the, the description in the, the link in the description box. Uh, but yeah, Let's, Let's Talk will be the new channel. I don't know where I want to put this, y'all. Help. Let's do that in the center. Something like that. Works. A little piece to the back. I might just do these on the sides. Yeah, let's do that on the sides. Uh-oh. I see blank space here. Can't have that. There we go. You know what, I'm gonna have to seal this too. Once it dries, I will seal that so that it doesn't rub off or anything like that. But I think that's gonna be the way that goes. This is paper clay. You're welcome, Julia. Thank you and good night. Be safe, hon. Happy holidays or Merry Christmas. Uh, it's paper clay. Uh, Gail says, I need to get myself a more reliable broomstick so I can fly over the pond and see you. <laughs> it would be a though. It absolutely would be. Um, and just let me show y'all what I'm using. Because I have another one. An unopened one. This is what I'm using. You can get it at Wally World for $6.97. It's poly four model air clay, model air clay, and it is absolutely fun to work with. I'm I'm loving it actually, and it keeps me from having to bust out a the oven for the polymer clay. So it's kind of a nice alternative when I don't want to use the polymer clay. So I think that's where I'll put that, and I think. Hmm. Let me see. I've got... We're not done claying around here. <laughs> we're not done claying around. Because I also have another fondant mold. What's wrong with Nancy? I 
I just listed a house for one of my investors yesterday. Got offer and come tomorrow morning. Yes. Well, I'll be praying to make that sale, Nancy. Heck yeah. That's awesome. It's a mermaid tail. And I'm going to do a thin one. I'm not going to do it as thick as this is. I really just want the print. So um, I don't want it so three-dimensional. Just because it's going on the ditty box. So I'm going to... Well, you know what? I know. I didn't bring out my... Oh. I didn't bust out my... Uh, my ball pen. Let me see if I can do this a little bit anyway. I was looking for my ball tool pin, but it's in my polymer clay box, and that's upstairs on the upper level of my bunk bed here in the truck and I don't think I need to be climbing up there right now <laughs> I might fall and crash and that'd be I'd be sitting here live like laying on the floor with my feet up in the air showing a toe or something <laughs> that's all I would need Oh my gosh. Yeah, the zompire's up. Okay. I got that in there pretty good. I just didn't want it. Um, and you got to put this clay back because it'll start drying up. So I got to put it immediately back in the bag. And then I'm going to try to carefully pull this out of here you just roll these back <laughs> hi Penny welcome glad you could join us we're having fun here we are making a ditty box. We're playing with paper clay. And it is a very affordable medium to play with. You can use the Dollar Tree Mica powders or eyeshadows, the LA colors. Or you can use um, like what I have, which is the Pearl X pearls. And we need to paint this up too. I'm going to throw a little, uh, let's see, solar gold on here. Some purple. Let's see, is that purple? Yeah, let's see. This is Misty Lavender. Well, isn't that fitting? <laughs> and this is Duo Violet Brass. And once again, we're going to go, oh wait, this is new, Blue Russet. So we're doing four new colors here. And what's this one? Might as well go with a fifth color. This one is Antique Copper. That sounds like fun. That way we use what we have in our stash. 
and not waste a moment of playing with each tone. Do y'all want me to zoom in on this again? Oh my, I've never worked with clay, but the more I see you create with it, the more I want to try. <laughs> I'm telling you, Judy, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, if you're not a sculptor, that's what these are for, these molds. Uh, and you can get them from uh, various places, but these are fondant molds. And I get mine from Hobby Lobby, and they're like $1.99 to $3.99. They're not expensive. They're so affordable. And you can order online different molds, you know, the fondant molds in different various styles. And so it makes for a lot of fun. Now I want a little more shimmer up top here. Mom, are you still here? I'm a little bit out of frame here. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Deborah. Thanks, Ma. Thank you, ladies. It is fun. It is a lot of fun. Jada. Hi, Jada. Oh, my God. Gosh, I haven't seen you in forever. How you doing, honey? Wow. Now, I have known Jada for quite some time. She is probably maybe a couple of years that we've known each other. Jada, has it been two years, three years? It's been a bit. We've known each other for a bit. Good to have you here. I haven't seen you in so long. I hope everything's going well with your health. And you can play with these clays however you want to. These mic you know what, these mica powders. I wasn't keeping the clay moist. Sorry. I licked my finger, y'all. Got it wet. <laughs> Sorry. Y'all didn't y'all didn't see me do that, but I had to tell it. <laughs> so bad. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a little drop of water right there on my deal so I can dip my finger in and moisten this clay back up because I need it to take my mica powders. <laughs> Hi Jenny. New paints to play with. <laughs> oh I'm sorry you sprained your wrist and your left handed. Oh no. These are mica powders uh, Janie. The Pearl X mica powders. Oops, it's a little more than I wanted there. But that's okay. And it's kind of like painting. As you can see, they actually blend pretty well into each other if you dust them lightly. This one here is, let's see, I used, this one was antique copper. And this one, let's use the Misty Lavender. How appropriate for the name. Because if y'all know Misty Blackburn, she is a purpley purple as well, like Laurel. I think that's pretty. Kind of gives it an iridescent look. Is it one of your favorites? <laughs> Using Misty, she would be good with that. <laughs> right, Angela? <laughs> yep, 
Y'all talking gangsters. <laughs> You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> the only gangster wrap up in here is Angela, chronic crafter. <laughs> that girl put a wrap out like no, no, not nobody's business. Yes, I know you do, girl. Oops. This one is just, um, there's a whole lot more in here. This one is Duo, this one's called Duo Violet Brass. It seems a little more shimmery than the other one, so, but it seems almost the same as that Misty Lavender. Ooh, but it's definitely more pearlesque. I don't know if y'all can see this the way I see it. It, I, I don't know if it's doing it any justice, but it's pretty awesome. Yo, yo, Biggie, got it, got it. <laughs> U.S. Purple Girls Rock. <laughs> right, Jada? Okay, I will. <laughs> yeah, I don't, let me move this around a little bit, see if y'all can see that shimmer, that light. Now, I'm going to make a mess here, watch. I'm going to mess it up. Can y'all see that shimmer, shimmer? That bling bling. Love it. It's all about the bling. Bling is my thing. I'm just, what I'm doing with the water is just keeping the clay moist so it will take the pearlix powder as well. And it doesn't take much. I'll assure you, this stuff goes a long way. It's so beautiful though. I love how you can blend it. And I think I'm gonna do just a hint of blue along the tail fin there. Let me get that tail fin in so y'all can see it. Why do I have a blue lid but no blue powder? Okay, that's pretty scary. Thank you, Jada. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, we need water. It's not taking it. See, that paper clay will start drying. So we need some moisture on that tail. It's like a piece of art that you paint almost, you know? For a buck ninety nine, it's a pretty cool tail. You just get your your mic is all over it. River says it chronic using some of the things you sent. Okay, wow. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> All right, I guess that'll do it. Sorry, my hand was all up in the way. It was real close. My bad. It 
it takes time to put together as crap you crafters know it takes time to put together some of your uh, pieces and there's no rush here as far as in artwork period I mean it's, it's supposed to be relaxing and I find it very therapeutic and relaxing and uh, I'm glad you guys are here to share it with me I'm trying to take this back down out of so close up I'm just putting away these mica powders so I don't spill them okay why do I have <laughs> I'm putting the gold on the wrong one my bad let's put the gold where it belongs all right Diddy box props are taken. Okay. Now, back to the box. The box. And I don't have my polymer clay tools out, so I gotta be real careful until this. Oh, I done broke it. Dead burn it. Okay, got an emergency fix on that one. It's still wet. Usually, I would use my little scraper thing when I have my polymer clay tools out, but I don't have those out. But it's okay, it's okay. I will manage to fix it or glue it. One or the two, we will make it happen, Captain. Okay, so... Thank you, Janie. Thanks, Ma. Did we lose Amanda? I thought I saw her say, I thought somebody said something. Man, are you still here? If not, uh, I hope I didn't miss you to say goodbye. Uh, let's see. See what next? What next? What next? I think textures like um, this is some Finna Bear mica. Oh, these are also mica flakes. I'm all about micas tonight, but we're gonna use some of those as well. Some mica flakes. I'm trying to dig them out. And I also have these little texture uh, boulders. I don't know. I picked these up on sale. They were like $5.99 at Hobby Lobby, but I'd gotten them on sale for $1.49 sometime last year. trying to make this go further back sorry I mean make y'all dizzy okay hold on For some reason when my phone is plugged in it doesn't let me work with my phone so there we go so we're going to work with some of these mica flakes as well. We're going to work with little texture boulders. Um, and then we've got some smaller texture boulders. messing everything up around here I've got some um, shells as well so just moving this stuff out of the way I'm gonna 
use some of this metallic luster. I, wait, is this the one I want? This, I don't know if this is the one I want or not. Hang on. No, it is not the one I want. I'm going to use this. Um, thank you, Penny. I hope it does. I hope it does. I really do. Um, I'm leaving the top alone, and there's a reason for that, okay? Uh, so we're going to be working just with the sides uh, for now. Because the top, I have a special something that's going up there. This is Lux Paint. And it's by the Art Company. It's a glittery style paint. It's actually a paint. And you can see it's got an oily base to it. I don't know if you can see that in my light looks kind of greenish blue but you got to kind of mix it so let's do that let's see I guess I'll use the tip of this paintbrush to scrape off some of that and get it down back into the mix. This is awesome stuff. I used this one other time on my uh, last last winter actually, my Christmas decoupage bowl. It was the last time I used this, so uh, I have not used this in a while. So I'm going to mix this back up. So that it has all its creaminess that it needs. This is Lux Paint by the Art Company. Thank you, Angela. Yep, blue, blue, blue. For us blue lovers. See now, I'm a blue lover. Gail's a blue lover. I don't know who else blue lover. I know we got a bunch of purple lovers. But there are some of us that are blue lovers. I am one of them. Blue for Janie. So we got some blue girls in here. I'm blues. Okay, I'll quit. <laughs> I'll quit. I got a blue house with a blue door and a blue window and a blue car. How about that? Not really, but that's what the song says. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough for me. And I hate to waste anything, so I'll just use this. And I'm going to paint a little bit on the side of this ditty box. I'm not even using the brush part right now, but that's okay. I'm trying to get this off of my paint brush so that I can utilize that blue goodness and then I'll paint. It's okay. All right. Let me go ahead and dip this in. And I'm only doing a dab of it. I just want a hint of the color. I don't want to lose that wood content. Uh, 
I just want this to be a little accent color. A splash of water. That's all I want. A splash of water. And I think I want to put those scales maybe just to the side of it. corner of it, in the middle of it. Okay, just do the middle of it. I can still conform somewhat to the box, so. Listen, I didn't have a plan in mind whatsoever, so what you see is just Steph doing her thing as Steph does her thing. That's it. I never know what I'm going to do. I'm a June baby too, Janie. Maybe that's why I'm a water I'm a water person too. <laughs> That's probably why. So I just wanted to give it a splash of color around it. And I've just basically outlined it for now. I should have my little water bottle, so let me pop this in the water so it doesn't dry on my deal. And then I'm going to take some Aileen's Tacky Glue. I can't wait till it turns out either. I don't know what I'm doing yet. <laughs> it is taking the dry brush to the next level, Penny. Be careful of lid opening. Oh no, it's locked down, sister. No worries here. So I'm going to carefully lift this back up. And I'm going to put some the Aline's Tacky Glue on it. Let me get one of my glue brushes here. There we go. This you can tell this this brush has been through everything. Oh, absolutely. Oh, you got a point there. Thank you, Janie. You caught me, didn't you? Okay, you caught me. Good call, sister. Oh my goodness gracious. She did. And you know what? We are going to be able to open that lid. Watch this. We're, that, we're not going to let that. We're not going to let that impede our progress. Watch this. Let's go ahead and do exactly what we were going to do. But thank you for bringing that to my attention because, yes, I was totally ignoring the lid, wasn't I? Shame, shame. Good call, Janie. Janie saved. Saved a boo-boo. I almost had a Shannon boo-boo. <laughs> That's okay. We've got this. Watch this. We're going to go ahead and move forward. And put that on. We will not be deterred. Now, let's 
break out the tool. Give me one second. Well, I don't know where my exacto knife is all of a sudden, but I'll tell you what. This is the seam right here. Problem solved, ta-da. How about that? <laughs> I do have a lot of them, Gail. I do have a lot of faults when I'm doing my mixed media. But this is one way to fix something. Never be deterred. That's right, Penny. <laughs> it was a good catch. No, I wasn't planning. I mean, I was, but I wasn't. I didn't even think about the lid right there. So Janie caught it good. She really did, but we've got that sucker opening right up. Boom. No problemo. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yep. Done deal. Good call, Janie. Thank you. All right. Let's do the other side. The other side. Of, well, you know what? Let me just do one side. We may not have time to do the other side. So I'm going to work on one side because I may be having to finish this video out in a different uh, setting of time. So let's first start with some boulders. I wish Shelly was here. <laughs> right, Mom? So, I'm going to get some, this, this Aileen's, if you never worked with Aileen's Tacky Glue, it dries clear. It dries clear. You can get it at Walmart all day long. I'm going to put uh, a, a bead of this on top of and around and I'm not real sure I better use my tweezers and place these little boulders in place You could use sand. You could use... Uh, I would use sand. I actually have some blue sand, but it's at home. Um, you could use blue fish rock. Like in the what you'd use in a tank, a fish tank. As well. But I'm grateful I had these on hand. Because I didn't have the other ones on hand so and I'm going to go ahead and open this box so that I know oops I got glue right there okay I'll have to wipe that off now I've got it on the inside but that's okay we will not be deterred is that blurry is that better Did she? You buy yours by the gallon. <laughs> Gail says catch the glue over the middle or it won't open again. Um, Debbie, my mom, my stepmom says uh, that her mom used to use tacky glue 
for her uh, crafts. For her, uh, well, I guess she did all kinds of crafts. My mom makes quilts, or she used to. I don't know if she's still making them. But she makes beautiful quilts, handmade from um, from scratch. My dad built her a quilting loom, or whatever you call that thing that stretches the the material across. Uh, I believe she's won first or second place in a quilting contest, and she is an amazing quilter, you guys. Mm-hmm, too. Right there is the seam. So I want to get it right there on top. There we go. Hang on, ladies. Yes, babe. Oh, no, I'm still alive, babe. <laughs> All right, love you. That was my honey checking in on me. There we go. All right. This can be time consuming because I'm doing one little bead at a time and the only reason is is if I don't, I'll have beads all over my floor in my truck. <laughs> I'm just saying. It'd take me forever to get them out. The last time I took my rug out of my truck for washing, David's like, really? <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna come get all this glue out and stuff because I drop so much stuff in my in my rugs. <laughs> That's okay. That's what they're there for. <laughs> Everybody's saying hello, David. <laughs> David says hello, everybody. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's always by my side. He checks on me to make sure I'm okay. Uh, so we're always we're always together and on the phone and that's how we spend time together with me being on the road um, it's just what we do and we are not ashamed it's no different than everybody going home to their loved one you know this is just the way we hang out so he's he's on the other line with me while I'm with y'all <laughs> That's right, Ma. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. He is very handsome. <laughs> yeah, Judy got to see him in person. Pictures don't do him justice, do they, Judy? <laughs> yes, I'm bragging about my baby. 
can't help it. He's a good looking man and he's a sweetheart. Takes good care of me. Yeah, Janie, Janie's a truck driver too, y'all, and uh, her and her husband run team, so she's got her man 24-7. All right, I think that'll do that side. And I got one little place left here. Am I staying in frame okay? No, they don't. You either, you're both beautiful. Thank you, Judy. You're beautiful too, honey. my Shelly was here of course I didn't tell anybody I was going live I think Janie texted me early so I told her I might but I never got a chance to tell Shannon or anybody else that I was going live I'm jealous my brother went and got Lily Queen. He went to get him a lizard. <laughs> That's a blizzard. <laughs> Just so that y'all know. That's good enough, good enough, good enough on those. And I want to, oops, that in there. I want to put some um, mica flakes. I think I'll do this color because it looks like the color of sand almost. Let me put a few around the boulders. I just want to put it in spots because I don't want to lose the water either. All right. Get my tweezers out again. Mica flakes are basically just like you saw the mica powder. It's just in a, it's in its more raw form, more natural form. Got a few out that time. I like to build texture layers and texture. And again, this Diddy box will be holding my scrimshaw tools, so I'm really excited because. I'm learning to scrim, be a scrim shander. Now my glue's getting stuck. It can be a little trying, but that's okay. We can get it on there too, on the box itself. Give it a little bit of.
crystal sand. There we go. Well, darn it, stay there. All right, it's being a little difficult. So we're gonna go with that for now. And I'll seal the whole thing, so eventually, if there's some loose pieces, it won't matter because it will be sealed. Put that in the water too. do with it. There it is. Sorry guys, this was a little meticulous so I wasn't reading the chat. Alright. I'm just going to put that in, in spots. So I'll do a little bit down here. Misty, I love you and miss you too. I saw you on the on Amy's live today, and I was trying to say hello, but I don't know if you ever saw me. So I'm so glad you did. Oh, and I'm so glad you. Oh, I'm sorry you're feeling bad. I miss your face too. I love you very much. Hope you do get the feeling better. Good night, Misty. I hope I didn't miss you, honey. Thank you for stopping in, truly. It means a lot. See all my friends popping in. And those I don't know yet. Oh, that one's working out a little better. I got some of them out, so they're coming out a little better now. There we go. All right, so can y'all see that okay? Remember if I grabbed my shells. Hold on just one second and I hope nothing comes crashing down. If it's crashing down, it's probably me. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh. Success. Oh. Okay. Come on, shells. Okay, I've got some. Oh, I hope these aren't too big. I've got some small ones, but they are like way up at the top, and all this mess that I have won't let me get to them. So I may have to skip shelves if these are too big, but we'll see. I just want a couple for Yeah. I just want a couple. Doesn't have to be too much. I'm doing my evening exercises, Nancy. Ain't that right? I tried to do everything I could not to do the uh, 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 because I don't want y'all to know. <laughs> I don't want you to know. I'm going to put a bead of glue around the shell itself. Mm. Good night, Janie. Good night, Janie. Sleep well, hon. Get some rest. 
thank you so much for being here, sweetheart. And thank you for catching my mistake. My, my almost mishap. <laughs> Keep it. David's laughing. He saw that. Nancy says, oh, honey, make those noises just trying to get out. She makes those noises just trying to get out of her van. Ooh, I feel you. You ought to hear me getting out of my truck. Ugh. 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 My, my, David's always like, honey, you okay? I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> just getting out of the truck, babe. All good. <laughs> okay. I like that. Alright. And, 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 and. Let's go ahead. I want to look in my dried paper clay. See if I have any kind of fun stuff to get into. Okay, these are my florals and my hearts, not this box. Aha! I wonder if it's this box. Is it this box? Oh, is it not this box either? Oh, man. I can use this, so. Ooh, maybe. Nope. Maybe. I might use that. Oh, let's see. Ooh. I might could use that, too. I do have borders that I was planning to put on here, but I didn't bring them down. I forgot to get them. So, these are some dried borders. But I've got some other borders. And, uh, so, when I probably do the video of finishing this out, You'll probably see them there. This isn't the box I'm looking for either. Where's my box? Is it this box? Oh, no, nope, that's a box of bling. Not that box either. Although, mm, I don't guess any of that will really work in here. Okay, not that. Should have a box of there's a box of bling too. Yeah, these are the remnants that they didn't find. <laughs> these are the remnants of my beads and stuff they didn't find. So I got lucky with that. No, not this one either. I'll drop the look. I've got some uh, paper clay little pieces that. Hold on, let me check one more box here. No, that might be an empty box. I don't need anything crashing on my head. All right, well, I'll just have to do it later. I had some squids and sea stuff that would have been perfect for this little space. But I guess for now, just to save time, I will use one of these instead. These are by Spare Parts. I uh, picked these up two days ago when I got a chance to finally go to Hobby Lobby. Ha huh? <laughs> Finally. Welcome to the 
Okay, hi Susan. Welcome, honey. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for being here. We're working on a ditty box. And if you don't know what a ditty box is, and anybody else that doesn't know what a ditty box is, uh, let me explain quickly. It's basically a box that whalers used to create to hold their trinkets and their scrimshaw and their needles and things like that. If you don't know what scrimshaw is, um, I have a couple of videos on it and I'm doing a series on my channel as well. So uh, scrimshaw is basically carving into whale's teeth and since we don't have real whale's teeth, I made faux whale teeth and did the scrimshaw. It's basically uh, drawing and etching and coloring the tooth. And I did it with paper clay and polymer clay laid over it. And um, a larger example here that got broken because I didn't do the process right is this one. It is a um, compass. So this is what the whalers used to do. They used to do this on their journeys and voyages and they would make memorabilia and put it in their ditty box. So uh, they they etched with sailing needles, sailor needles, like uh, sewing sail needles and pocket knives. So um, my needles and whatnot will go in here. So that is what I'm making. And this is my ditty box. So, uh, I'm choosing now to put one of these charms on. Let's see, we've got, we don't want a clock, but we've got an anchor, we've got the compass, the wheel, the lighthouse windmill, another clock, we've got the crab, and a turtle, another couple of different shells, seahorse, the squid, the lobster, and the starfish. You watched me make the etched tooth? Well, thank you. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Hi, Laura. Best ditty box ever. <laughs> thank you. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, and it'll be absolutely beautiful when I'm done with it, I hope, anyway. And, uh, I'm going to have to do a little more paint. Just I want some more splash of water. I've kind of covered it up. But um, we'll get there. You like the anchor and the lobster, Mom? Okay. Well, won't we pull that? We'll pull the anchor and the lobster. And you can get these at Hobby Lobby. Um, if you use a coupon, you can get 40% off of the $3.99, but mind you, your coupon, you only get to use one thing, so I would just buy that and get a good something, unless you're just going to buy a, you know, an item. Use your 40% coupon. Okay, uh, thank you, thanks David. Uh, Judy. You have a good night, sweetheart, and I appreciate you being here. You get a good night's sleep, and hugs to you, too. We love you, and thank you again for coming to Dad's service. I just love you, girl. Thank you, and we need to talk. So hit me up sometime. All right. I usually like to hang a charm, but... I think we're just going to glue these on. And I think I want to... I actually feel like I need to paint these. Um, so that they'll stand out a little better. What do y'all think? Thank you, Judy. I sure will. You too, hon. Paint them silver, David says. Okay, we'll paint them silver. David wants them painted silver. Um, I don't 
remember if I have metallics with me or if they're at home. Oh, I can paint them silver without painting them. Hold on. I've got... this one yeah okay I can use I'm gonna try to attempt using my art alchemy metallic waxes my metallics paintings or uh, paints I think are at home I don't think I have them in the truck But we're going to attempt to see if I can get this to go on here well enough. This is a brushed metal or brushed iron. So it's this. I'm trying to think if I have anything else before I do this. Oh, there we go. Now oh, that's going to work out. Get rid of that bronzy, brassy color, which didn't really look all that bad, but maybe leave a little bit of that brass on there. The ladies agree with you, silver. Silver till to look like water. It's got patina on it. That would look awesome. Well, you know what? I might. I'll take that suggestion and see if I can't put that into play. Hold on one second. I've got this itty bitty brush. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's real tiny tipped. I will attempt to take some of this beautiful blue. make it look like maybe there's some water coming off of it. <laughs> David says to tell Gail he is fine with the till. As long as Mr. David is okay with the tools. <laughs> oh. She said, thank you, sir. <laughs> I guess he's watching the chat, too. <laughs> and he's been helping me, actually, and I appreciate that, babe. just did the Elvis in my ear. Now, I know y'all can't see that. There we go. It's all about the details, you guys. It's all about layers. It's all about details.
go with that for now. On the lobster. Ooh, now I need to bring that back out. There we go. And my light is casting so much shadow. There we go. How about that? Is that is that better? Is that worse? Okay, Jenny, thank you for coming so much. I appreciate it. I hope you had fun being here with me. I'm certainly grateful to have you here. And you get a good night's sleep. I think it needs to be up against that shell. But I don't know how sturdy that would be. Yeah, I think so too. David says I'd have to put a lot of glue. Mm. It'll dry clear, so I'm not too worried about all the mess. But I think I'm just going to leave it there. Oh no, I don't know if I'm happy with that. Well, it's just gonna stay it's gonna stay that way. Let me go ahead and put a little more blue into that glue so that it will I probably could do that, honey. That's a pretty good suggestion, actually. Mm, David thinks that if I put a little clay underneath that, let's see, to perch it, it might be a good idea. Let's see here. Let's try that. Okay, lighter blue and some green. Alright, so I need a little touch of green, they say. I've got, um, let's see. Yeah, and paint, I do. I have lighter blue and paint. But I'm, I'm gonna, um, 
I don't know if I should do this, but I got some alcohol ink right here. Alcohol spray. And it, it would tint the, it might tint the, uh, ah, too much. Let me just dab that off. I did. Oh, I meant to tell you not to do that, honey. Well, that's okay. I can get some of this off. Now, there, it can always be fixed if it's not good. Mm. No problem. Let me get a little light blue. I got some... Laguna or Caribbean blue. Sandra, how are you? Glad you're here. We are just playing about on the Diddy Box. This is just one side, so of course this will not be finished tonight. Because I'm going to have to clean up and get ready for work tomorrow. And I will add a little more brush metal iron to that as well. I got these little tiny brushes right here from Wish. I think I paid like a dollar. And I got like ten of them. They're absolutely perfect for detailing. I think that looks pretty good. Are you there? Mm-hmm. Go, gal. Hello, cowgirl. <laughs> David says hello, cowgirl, to you, Gail. <laughs> Oh, hello! <laughs> he did it in England. He did it in English. Hello! <laughs> he did it London style. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's funny. <laughs> okay, I am going to use some of this metallic wax and go back over this just a bit there we go I want to lighten up some of those heavy blues and put some metal back into it <laughs> David said grab your junipers kitten I don't know what y'all are talking about now <laughs> Oh, y'all killing me, Smalls. There. Got to put some metal back into that anchor. Uh, <laughs> oh, he said, oops, he didn't realize you were talking to him, Gail. <laughs> there we go. Now, there's the anchor. It's a pretty nice change from Christmas, Susan. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty non-traditional here. I mean... I like Christmas stuff too, but uh, I 
I'm always doing something out of the box because I just this is what I do. I'm I'm just I'm always in my own little world driving along and I think of things and that's just where it goes. <laughs> that's just where it goes. But thank you. Thank you, ladies. I appreciate it. Angela, thank you, sweetie. All y'all. Everybody. Thank y'all. Because I hadn't been reading the chat, so... I've been detailing, detailing. I love that Janie caught that, and I was able to cut that in half. That is so cool. Mm, let's see here. What to do? Oh, good night, Mom. Thank you. And of course, my David. All David said good night, Mom. Love you. Sweet dreams. Appreciate you being here. Well, you know what? I think I like the fact that there's not so much water on here. I like that it's just a hint of it. So I think I'm going to leave it that way for now. I might put just a hint more over here. But that's about it. I don't want to overpower it. I want to make sure that wood comes through. And can y'all believe I did that with the Dollar Tree wood markers? I mean, that is awesome. You can't beat it. And I don't know if y'all can see it so well, but in person, this stuff really is sh quite shimmery. I don't know if that gives you a better look. But I think it's pretty cool. Shannon, you're back. I don't know if you've been here the whole time, but I haven't seen you, so <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> yeah. I hope you're feeling better, hon. I know you've been sick. Trying to just put a little essence of water around the boulders. I'm trying to be careful, they're still drying. Yeah, I'm used to this stuff being in time lapse. <laughs> I'm used to me doing this and and just fast forwarding it because I just hope I'm not boring you guys. This just goes with part of my Scrim Shander series that I'm doing and 
learning to scrimshaw, trying to show you guys an old lost art. It's so much fun, and it is challenging, but it's fun. And I get to build me a box for my, my stuff, my needles and stuff. But... Then again, we'll just see. I'm thinking about starting my Etsy back up. I haven't had anything in the shop because I never really did promote it too much. I just haven't had time. I don't have a lot of time to really do those kind of things. But you guys are ever interested in anything that I make and and it you can always ask me if I'm selling it because I never know well, we can talk about it Oh, that's true. It is true. And uh, I appreciate you saying that, but I like to I like to uh try to keep people entertained mostly, but I've been out of the loop a little bit and uh just just trying to get my mojo back. And I don't do a lot of lives when my when I do lives they're live on the fly. <laughs> And I generally don't know what I'm doing right before I go on. <laughs> now, I knew I wanted to do this box, but I didn't know I was going to do it tonight. So, I like that. Now, I'll probably later on down the road, because I don't know if I have any sentiments anywhere. Uh, a lot of my stuff is misplaced due to my truck situation that happened so um, I think a sentiment right here in the center would be really awesome and then I still got this lobster I might just use the lobster on the other side or something I think I'm just gonna leave the one charm there oh <laughs> Angela my truck my truck starts on its own uh, it's got a auto start when I'm idling or sitting too long on the battery it automatically realizes it's low and it cranks the truck so yeah we're not going anywhere <laughs> sorry didn't mean to think we were taking off in flight <laughs> Um, hmm. Mm, mm, probably not. I don't know if I'll put a border on that or not. But, I do feel like it's missing something. <sighs> More water? Okay. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you what, if y'all want more water, I'm going to do it a little differently than just that. I'm going to use some of this, um, this high gloss Mod Podge. Not that it's going to be in the dishwasher, but it's a high gloss. And let me get a little container here. And we're going to pour just a tiny bit of Mod Podge in here. Okay. 
That's more than a little. Ah! Now, see, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, well. It happens. No. Oh. I just hate to waste. <laughs> Oops. And we are going to make a little clear water. Um, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've got some uh, Tattered Angel Glimmer Mist. And this is the color of, well, blue raspberry. And we gotta shake it up because it's got micas in the bottom. And then I've got some, mm, this is a uh, blue icing. So we're going to mix some blue icing and we might just do the, let's see how the blue is not very blue. It's got a more pearlesque color so we're going to add some of this blueberry. These are indeed alcohol glimmer mist sprays. And we're going to mix this with the Mod Podge. And this Mod Podge will dry clear. And we will be left with this blue, light bluish color. Blue with blue, I'm watching. <laughs> Thank you, River. Nancy says, I'm not bored at all, Steph. This has been an inspiration, to say the least. I love the real-time stuff and truly enjoy the camaraderie in the chat during the live. Oh, good. I'm glad. Thank you. That makes me feel better. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I shake these all the time and they never they never get clogged. <laughs> Mine hasn't yet anyway. I might not have used it enough, Susan. I think that's going to be a beautiful color when it dries. Oh, I knew I was missing something. I remembered something. I just remembered. Let's see. And y'all are going to love this. Uh, let's see. I'm going to get my heat tool out. Because we're going to need to dry this. I want this kind of drying fast. starting to run out of space it's a good thing I bought this table um, I took it all out of the box and I don't know where it is there they are. There they are. There they are. Alright, I'll show y'all in just a minute. Scared myself. <laughs> when I start losing stuff, you might as well forget about it. Okay, we're going to pour this Mod Podge on some of this around the edges.
I want it to come up into the water up on the scales just a little. All right, what did I do with my little tiny brush? Oh, I don't know, but I dropped another brush, so here's a small brush. Remember, this will dry clear, so though it looks quite opaque at the moment. We're just going to cover these stones to give them shimmer and shine like it's all wet. I'm going to go ahead and seal the clay with this same Mod Podge as well so that we won't lose the mica finish. And it'll all be just a bit glossy and watery just like we want it. And it seals it down at the same time. A dual purpose here. Yes, it's just, uh, it is Mod Podge. And it's also the Tattered Angel Glimmer Mist in Blueberry, ra Blue Raspberry. And I've mixed it just a little bit with this because it wasn't all that, the blue icing didn't make that big of a difference really but it is just Mod Podge yes and we're sealing the mica powders we're sealing um, the uh, paper clay that we brushed with mica powder And remember, if you guys make your own box, your own ditty box, if you start doing scrimshaw, it is a lot of fun. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. I will have a couple of new tips and trick videos for helping you out to make it a little easier. So don't give up. I've got, I've got some other options besides clay if you don't want to work with any clay. I've got some other options coming your way. So. And I will be using it on the Diddy box too, but probably not tonight. There. So. 
I'm going to pop that in the water and I'm going to dry this up a little. Okay, I've lost chat. I don't know. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Gail. I'm gonna use oh I'm gonna use my heat tool a second. Sorry for the noise. last little ditty on the ditty box on this side besides a sentiment now I'll be coming back and probably putting a sentiment somewhere in here but since I don't have any or haven't made any we're gonna play with some bubbles bubbles <laughs> I picked these up Thank you, Gail. I picked these up, these bubbles up, at Hobby Lobby for $2.99. It's the Dress It Up. Um, go www.dressitup.com. It is item number 861633. And it is the bubbles. And we are going to put some bubbles on this ditty box. Is that not the coolest, cutest thing? Now, before I dried that, I should have put that into the Mod Podge. But, it's not too late. Your hope is anchored. <laughs> That's a good one, Penny. My table has really shrunk tonight. I was all proud of this table. I got it at Walmart. It's a fold-up table that I picked up from Walmart. I'm going to put some Mod Podge underneath that and hold that bubble down right there. Stick it right into the clay. I'm going to put some Mod Podge right here. And put another bubble right there. <laughs> another what? Angela says, um, dress it up dot com, another web tour. Chronic chronic needs to stay away from. <laughs> Ooh, I love those. My list getting bigger. Enabler alert. <laughs> Do you, Gail? Well, I'm telling you what. These are awesome. And I think we need one more bubble right there. What do y'all think about that? I love those bubbles. What do y'all think about that? <laughs> I love it.
I just did a calculations and it seems I only have to sell 30 more houses in order to buy the used toter home I want. Oh no. Then I can tell my entire craft room behind me <laughs> when I travel and still have a home. Oh, I know, right, Nancy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Shannon. Thanks, Nancy. Thanks, Penny. Thanks, Angela. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> Thank you. It does. Uh, it, you know, it takes time and it's layering. Layering makes all the difference and you just can't rush your art. Um, I can't wait to put the mermaid's tail on. I can't wait to put well, I'm saving the top. Y'all will have to watch my upcoming videos to see what I'm going to put on top. So be looking for it. But it will tie right in. And I love it. Thank you, Gail. I'm going to dry this Mod Podge a little bit. I am loving the Diddy box. Um, I'm not really seeing the blue Mod Podge too much, um, which is a shame. I think I need to darken that. Well, I knew it would dry clear, but. I was hoping to get a little darker in the water. Um, I'm, I don't want to make it opaque because I want the water to still be clear but blue. So I'm going, if I had my regular alcohol inks, which I don't anymore, they took all my alcohol ink, so this is the only bit I have. So, I'm working with what I got, you guys. No. No, it's not a hint, baby. <laughs> I will buy them in time. <laughs> Y'all see how that just dried up and you don't even see it? I want to add a little more. Yeah. I don't want it to go past my box. Ooh, I've got one. Somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where it is at the moment. I think it's actually in my clay stuff. I don't remember where I put my little droppers. David just reminded me. He said it would be great if you had medicine droppers. I'm like, I do have medicine droppers. Fortunately, I didn't think about it. And I certainly didn't remember them. Or I don't remember where I've put them right at the moment, for sure. Alright, I'm hoping that that'll dry a little more blue. Let's see what happens. 
Right, right, Gail? I know a mermaid, he would love this. <laughs> that wouldn't be a hint, would it be, Sandra? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was just checking. going to have to dry naturally um, just because I don't want it to get too hot so I'm hoping it's going to do what we're looking for it to do and I want to do one last thing this is uh, glossy accents Thank you, Sandra. I'm going to put some glossy accents uh, over this as well. Just for it to look like water's on top of it. Because the glossy accents will indeed look like a glass finish over the top of this clay. And it will protect it. I'm letting it run down, do its thing. And it ought to make those micas really pop out too once it dries. And it'll and it'll seal everything. What baby? Yeah, little bling bling.
and all that should be sealed between the Mod Podge and the shell, I mean the uh, glossy accents. This should be totally sealed. So you don't have to worry about it coming off. Because <laughs> otherwise the shell look dehydrated, right? I'm crossing everything that this one works. <laughs> Thank you, Gail. Yeah, it looks like waves, doesn't it? And I'm going to open this box up as well because I want to make sure, yeah, we can still open it. And if it gets stuck on me, all I have to do is open it up and then just sand that down because I'll have to paint that anyway on the inside just to hide the white clay in there. But that'll be once it dries. So I need a little more. I missed some spots here, I see. I love glossy accents. Alright, everything should be sealed with that right there. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon. Girl, you're not far behind. Your bottles are amazing. If y'all haven't seen Shannon Naylor, she does beautiful bottle uh, art. She transforms uh, bottles into amazing pieces of artwork. You got to go check her out, too. And everybody, I, I mean, I think everybody here kind of maybe seen or knows each other. So you guys know. And if you don't know, uh, you're missing out because we can learn a lot from each other, that's for sure. I don't think my light's going to really give y'all what I can see. There's like a glass looking finish over the top of those scales. There we go. And see, I had no clue where I was going to start with this, you guys. I really didn't. Had no clue. I just know I wanted to do my ditty box. Now, I knew I wanted these for it. I didn't really know in what direction I was going to go with it, so pretty happy with it. The mica powders I didn't even think about using them until right when we used them. And that was a lot of fun because it worked out really cool.
if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to ask if I can answer them I certainly will if I can't maybe I can direct you to someone that can <laughs> oh David's in my ear making fun of me because I always say I know and that's what he just did to me I know because I know <laughs> and if I don't know I'm gonna tell you I know and it's gonna be what I know even if I don't know <laughs> but if I don't know I'll tell you I don't know <laughs> Not very often will you hear that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm putting a little bit of this, um, I forget what it's called. Again, this is Lux Paint by the art company. And it's kind of giving it a three dimensional depth to the water here. I don't know if y'all could see that, but. I think it really gives it like a depth from the distance. <laughs> They're, they can hear you, honey. That's funny. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love my baby. I'm glad he's with me tonight. I you. No, when you were talking, when you said, I know. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm loving this box, y'all. I have to say. Thank you, Angela. Thank you, Susan. And don't forget to join my Facebook group. I know I've been but I know I've been quiet in there, but there's been a lot happening in my life. So I haven't had time for the group per se. But uh, eventually we'll get to doing some stuff. I don't know what, but maybe maybe we'll start a scrimshaw something. Maybe we'll do something with scrimshaw and because I think that I'm going to be able to show y'all something that will get you interested in scrimshaw even without even without uh if you don't work with clay. Okay, Penny, where's that at? I didn't see Penny. Have a great, good night, Penny. Okay, Penny, I appreciate it. You have a wonderful night. Thank you so much for being here. I'm truly blessed to have y'all come in. Thank you. Hi, Linda. Thank you for joining us. I'm pretty happy you guys have stuck it out with me so far. And I am just super thrilled about this Diddy box. Super thrilled. I think that anchor looks quite aged too with that that wax on it gave it some texture and it looks definitely better than the brass so David's David did a good call on that one and the girls okay they they also because I wasn't reading the chat so all of y'all suggestions I think really help pull this through and this is going to be a sentiment I think somewhere on top of here when I when I can get to one or find one I don't even know if I have any so um, I will probably 
have to look and see what I've got. I think I might still have some of the Tim Holtz, but I'm not sure. So I'll have to look. If not, I will make my own and put it right there. And we're gonna, you wanna see? Okay, so here is the inside of the box. This too will be decorated. Uh, this is not gonna be left as plain wood. And just so that you know, this is the color that it started out. Okay, let me move that. And for those of you that weren't here, um, we basically use Dollar Tree furniture scratch markers. Three for a dollar. And I used the other set of three, because they had six different ones. And I use the, I didn't use the maple. I use the oak and I use the cherry and I don't know where the other one is because I've got a mess up here now. <laughs> no telling where everything's at. I've got a mess to clean up. But um, we use that to do the wood. The oak is this color, which is beautiful. And I love that. Is that not gorgeous? These markers did a wonderful job for a dollar three for a dollar and uh, the cherry is on the outer edges of this he does have great ideas Gail no it was not an old box and I still plan to actually throw some aging on the outer rims of the box. Like a little more. Yeah, uh, I, I no longer have my burn tool, but I wanted to put some burn marks in it. And I'll get another, I'll get another tool eventually, maybe not this round, but um, I definitely plan to age this up a little bit more I got this box at Hobby Lobby in the wood section and it's called wood pile and I got it for $3.99 so all you guys can get a hold of this very easily if you have a Hobby Lobby if you don't I'm sure you can go online and find something locally or whatnot to, to get one but it's made by woodpile so let's see if they have mm, it looks like they might be exclusive to Hobby Lobby the only ww dot I see is for hobby lobby dot com so so that might be something to consider so you can order it online from Hobby Lobby. But yeah, you can... Oh, I'm sticking my fingers all in my Mod Podge. Yeah, I'm, I'm wrapping it up, baby. Yes. 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 Yes, I do plan to age the uh, metal tabs here too. Absolutely. So, I mean, that's one way to age the wood a little bit. Just, just in around the edges. Kind of like you would do a... Um, when you use it on your paper crafts. Uh, distressing, distressing. That's what I was looking for. So you could do distress marks as well. Mm-hmm. Well, David thinks I should put some rust on them and I agree. And I'm gonna go ahead and end this chat tonight. I'm gonna let that dry. But I wanna show you guys what my next video is going to show uh, hopefully I didn't 
shelf over here somewhere. I'll put it up. Oh. Give me one second. Wow, I have gotten a mess in here so bad, I can't find anything. Maybe I won't be sure. Oh, 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 I did, I did want to do one of these. I was also planning to put some of this moss on, just so that you know. I got this from the Dollar Tree as well, for a dollar. It's Spanish moss. Um, so I might be putting some of that somewhere. I don't know. But I cannot find one. Oh, I hope I just didn't get some. Oh, no. All right, well, I've got a mess in here. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Listen to him. He's the next Tim Holt. <laughs> yeah, um, I want to show you guys. Did y'all, if you didn't watch my paper... Uh, sculpt on the angel um, I have a new video showing you how I created her in a metal form it looks like um, old metal and patina she has been patinaed and this I will be trying to I will be trying to get this uh, uploaded either tonight or by the weekend for sure. So, it was a lot of fun turning her from just a plain paper. This was air dried paper clay. Thank you, Shannon. It was good to see you too, sis. I'm glad to. Get, I'm glad you got to pop in and be here with me. You like that, babe? Yeah, I didn't get to see it. I know. Really Thank you. David, I have the... Listen, I've got the stamp of approval from David. <laughs> David approves of the angel. Yes, I haven't uploaded the video Susan but that will be the next video uploaded and David has hadn't seen it yet so I transformed the white paper clay remember it started out just like this just a piece of white dried paper clay and this is what you can do with paper clay so never count yourselves out And this stone was actually a plain clear crystal stone, rhinestone. Uh, it's now colored with a Sharpie pen. <laughs> so it was a lot of fun. I hope you like it. I hope. Yeah, that turned out well. <laughs> Thank you, babe. Nope, the patina, the patina is on my video that I will be putting out. I'll try to get it uploaded tonight. If not, it'll be tomorrow or at least by the weekend. So, um, I was just doing the final edits on it. So, um, this will be out very soon. But I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek of the next video and how I transformed paper clay from this to this. So, anyway, I hope you like it. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. It was so much fun. And I'm glad I got to hang out with you guys again. It's been so long. I will have to fix my mermaid tail. But those micas were, were awesome. I'll just glue that together. It's not a big deal. You'll never know the difference once I get done with it. <laughs> Aw. 
it got it got something sat on it that's okay it got flattened out you guys told you my table was getting messy but we've got this piece to go and I'll probably do a video in time lapse on the rest of the ditty box and again maybe we'll go live if I have time again we'll see what happens all right you guys I'm gonna say good night And thank you so much for being here. Thank you, ladies. I had so much fun. Sounds like you may not get to get this to keep her. <laughs> thank you, Gail. Love you, Gail. Love all of you, ladies. Thank you so much. And keep crafting for sure, for sure. <clears throat> you're very welcome Susan and I am no expert I'm just I just love to play and I love to create but I appreciate you saying so it means a lot oh no Kateri just woke up <laughs> well let me show Kateri the final product of the part we've only got one side done Kateri of our ditty box but here it is there it is So, I hope you guys like it. And there's a close-up for you. And the Mod Podge is still drying. But, uh, we'll see how it continues to dry. I stuck my finger in it right there. I may have to put some more Mod Podge there. But, I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I l <laughs> Thank you, Kateri. I love you. I love you all. And y'all have a good night. And we'll talk at you later. Bye. God bless you always. And David said God bless too. Good night, ladies. <laughs>